Watching the world burn, watching the world burn, December 31st, 2023, be 2024, one half an hour. Let's get into it. So I wanted to talk about President Biden's New Year's speech to the United States. And uh, he got into a few things that I think are very, very important to the American people. Uh, the first thing was uh, he talked about uh, how MAGA, MAGA Republicans are one of the greatest threats to the United States. And uh, he talked about that in a previous speech, if you recall. Uh, so it's not very divisive. He's kind of dividing the country in half with those statements. Uh, of course, uh, white supremacy has to be stamped out across the United States. And he added that he's going to use the FBI uh, as, as a tool to stamp out white supremacy and, of course, uh, racism. Uh, uh, he used that term um, many times in his speech, uh, that that is a huge problem that we have here in the United States. I would like to point out there was no mention of the open border, uh, certainly no mention of corruption or crime. Uh, he certainly didn't mention the political opponents, uh, the uh, prosecution of his political opponent, uh, Donald Trump. Or Well, he did mention that Trump, he thought he was an insurrectionist uh, and that he deserves the full brunt of the law determined by the courts. Now, he did say that he was doing that. Uh, he did say, but he, uh, and he didn't mention anything about the January 6th uh, people that are still in jail uh, for walking into the, uh, the Capitol building. Uh, so, and that's a persecution, and that's, that's meant to instill fear in MAGA. That's my commentary. Oh, wait a minute. Biden, Biden didn't give a speech. <laughs> what am I talking about? I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of his previous speech. Oh my God, yeah, he didn't give a New Year's Eve, uh, yeah, New Year's Eve speech, but Putin did. Putin gave a New Year's Eve speech, and you know what? I'm going to play you that whole speech because it's very brief, and we're going to finish off with the Russian national anthem. So, what did Putin talk about in his speech? He talked about that Russia is united; they are together in their fight. They are together as one in their religion. They are together as one, uh, one country. So he also talked about the 2020 years, the year of the family, of kids, of taking care of their, their retired and their old people, and that they are a multinational uh, federation that will work together to achieve a bright future for Russia. Wouldn't that have been a great speech? by Biden, and then to finish off with the U.S. National Anthem. So let's just get right into Putin's speech. I thought it was brilliant. And if, and if you notice in Putin's speech, I want you to notice that he says, we, 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 we. It's a, that he's constantly saying the term we. He doesn't say MAGA and then the rest of the nation. He doesn't say, you know, white supremacy. He doesn't, he doesn't condemn anybody in Russia. Let's just get to the speech. Enjoy. Dear citizens of Russia, dear friends, we are seeing out the year 2023. Very soon it will become history while we will move on creating the future. In the outgoing year we have worked hard and achieved a lot. We have taken pride in our common achievements, rejoiced over our successes, and stood firm in defending our national interests, our freedom and security, and our values, which remain our unshakable mainstay. The most important thing that has always united us 
is the fate of the motherland. A profound realization of the significance of the historical phase that Russia is going through and of the ambitious goals that our society is facing and the colossal responsibility for the motherland that every one of us feels. We acutely, clearly realize just how much today depends on ourselves, on our positive attitude and on our aspiration to support each other with word and deed. Working for the common good has brought our society closer together. We are united in our thoughts, in work and in battle, on work days and holidays, showing the greatest traits of the people of Russia – solidarity, mercifulness and fortitude. Today I would like to address our military personnel to everyone who is on combat duty now, on the front line of the fight for truth and justice. You are our heroes. Our hearts are with you. We are proud of you and admire your courage. I know that right now you can feel the love of those who you love most and the powerful and sincere support of millions of Russian people, the support of the entire nation. We have repeatedly proven ourselves capable of solving the most challenging tasks and we will never back down. For there is no such force in the world that could break us apart or make us forget the memory and the faith of our fathers or stop us in our development. Dear friends, in any times, the New Year celebrations are about bright hopes and about the sincere desire to make our beloved ones happy. The year 2024 has been declared in Russia the year of the family. And a true big family is, of course, one where there are children, where there is care for each other, heartfelt warmth, and where elders are looked after, where there is love and respect to each other. It is out of this bond among all generations, out of love to one's home, that true devotion to one's motherland is born. Next year, I wish all families in Russia all the best, for the history of each family combines to make the history of our vast, beautiful and beloved motherland. Its fate is shaped and created by us all, the multinational people of Russia. We are one country, one big family. We will ensure the development of our country and the well-being of our fellow compatriots. We will become even stronger. We are together, and this is the strongest guarantee of Russia's future. Congratulations, my dears. Happy New Year 2024.
Wasn't that interesting? Wasn't that interesting? Peace out. Happy New Year. Stay free.